Welcome back to Alone With You. We've just come back from finding a bit more information about exactly how Winnie Laurier died. Now it's time to sync our data and then have a chat with Winnie. A probably very unpleasant one. I wonder how she's going to react. I think it'd be best if you deliver the news yourself on the Holosome Chamber tonight. Indeed. be best to be tactful about this. Yes. Oh, you're back. I was just working on some new simulations for your ship. I'm still having a hard time with the deep space problem, though. Just can't seem to figure out how to replicate the range and strength of the comms tower array. I mean, you need to... Oh, I've got an interrupter. I have, uh... News. News? What kind of... Oh. Oh, I get it. You... You know what happened, don't you? You found out. Okay. Okay. You might as well just tell me. Oh, that's... That's awful. I... I killed myself. How could I do that? How could I do such a thing? From what you described, it sounds like I was... I was in a bad state. I guess I finally gave in. Finally gave up. And yet, it seemed like for a time there, I was so determined to survive but I guess eventually that ran out. But, hold on. Wait a moment. The terminal array you say you found. That's perfect. That makes a lot of sense. Of course. That's what we, what we can use to fix the ship. That's how we'll let you get your signal out after you take off. I can use the scan you made of the terminal array to come up with something similar for the escape ship. It's automatic, it's self-replicating, it's perfect. I knew there was another way. It's not about sending the strongest signal, it's about using other ships and relays to do the work for you. I don't know if I would have figured that out in here. I guess... I guess the other me. She was in a different position. She was desperate. Hopeless. Even before, when Tower E was functioning, she must not have been able to stay there. Too dangerous, perhaps. Not livable enough in that place. So she tried to replicate the signal array from the other tower. And knowing that she didn't have the same equipment, she created her idea of a virus. I'll get to work on this right away, and I'll make sure the AI understands what we're planning to do. I'm confident you'll get exactly what you need for your ship. It's so tragic to have to come across the idea this way. It must have been hard for you out there. Well, this being hard on me is like, a smaller issue here. I'm surprised she seems to be taking it so much in stride. I don't know, maybe she's just focusing on the work aspect and kind of trying to put everything else out of her mind. Doesn't want to think about it. To be honest, well, this is still pretty difficult to deal with myself. Can we talk about something else for a while? Yeah, sure, the pages of... pages of what? Oh, the ones from the book that she was writing, right? Looks like you found more of those pages. What do these ones say? Oh my, the story makes this all the more sad. Regardless of what happened to the other Winnie, she just seemed to suffer so much. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have showed her the pages. I don't think that's really getting her mind off it. It's almost like she knew what was coming, but kept on struggling anyway. I guess, I mean... What other option was there, really? But the story, this must have been her only way to understand what she was going through in the end. I mean, think of it. 
there was nobody else around. But well, what do you think of it? I get it. I'm sure you do. You're in a similar situation now. Did I just say similar? Similar. Can we talk about something else? Uh, yes. Anything. Oh, Nella, I was hoping you'd... Well, okay. Let's just talk. Uh, okay, well, I guess since I like stories so much, I'll... I'll tell you one. But you have to pick the topic. Do you want to hear about, uh, let's see... When I was a kid? When I was a teenager? Or before I joined Hudson Cartier as an adult? Um, when you're an adult. Alright, let me tell you about how I got this apartment. When I first looked at this place, I loved it. I knew I wanted it. But I could tell there were going to be lots of applicants. I worried about it for days. I just couldn't imagine what I'd do if I didn't get it. And I started to panic. Then I... well, I got an idea. I... hacked his phone. Nothing bad, really. I just wanted to see what I was up against. It turned out I was right. There was a lot of interest. So when I knew the deadline for his decision was up, I... blocked all the other callers. Pretty simple, really. And then I waited until the end of the day. When I called in, he tried his best to sound like there was a lot of competition, but pretty quickly, I got the place. <laughs> Clever. Wow. Yeah, I know. It was probably an awful thing to do, but I just had to. Either way, I guess I'm here now because of that decision. Let's talk about something else, and the only option left is you, which is what we were just talking about. Uh, some closure would be good in a way. I just want you to know what you found. I mean, what the other Winnie did. I wouldn't... I, I couldn't do that. Not now. You've been such an amazing friend these past weeks. Listening to me go on and on. Maybe that other version of me, she just needed someone like you. I'm glad. I'm sure of it. I don't know how she could have lost hope, I guess. I don't think she would have, I mean, if she had known you. Well, this has all been a lot to take in. But at least I now know what I need to do, so that yeah, I can complete work on the ship. In the meantime, well, I hope you'll find time to visit again. Uh, you know, before you have to go. Of course, I'll try. Of course, you have so much more to worry about before things are ready, and I know the situation is only getting worse, but yes, if you find time, please do. wasn't quite as sad as I thought it would be. All in all, I'd say she took it pretty well. Well, how did it go? Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> how did it go? I didn't get much indication when syncing data with a holosome chamber this morning. Uh, it was tough. I can't imagine explaining the situation could have been easy for either of you. We need to get you out there again while we still can. Please come see me in the core as soon as possible.
I know finding your colleagues, uh, colleague like that yesterday was tough. There are two more areas I need you to visit, though. Please just plot a course in the shuttle bay when you're ready. <laughs> Why did you need me to come all the way to the AI core just to say that? Silly AI. So, John Lumumba at the caves, or Leslie at the acrodomes? Uh, let's do the caves. You've reached the research lab. That's where energy-specific R&D took place over the last 16 years. Since the lab was first built, we have made significant gains finding new uses, processes, and efficiencies for the crystal harvested here. Mr. Lumumba's notes suggested that if we were to find any usable fuel for the escape ship, it would be here. Somehow, though, I suspect it won't be as straightforward as that. Seems like it never is with that man. Is that a body? Washed to almost, like, washed away to almost nothing from the acid rain, I'm guessing? Difficult to pull much data from those remains, but they are human. Most of what should be there has likely been buried or blown away. The ongoing storms make retrieval of most things outdoors problematic. Still, I'd say those remains are about two years old. The various labs are contained within four color code nodes. To reach each node, you can use the transport platform in front of you. That big dome in front of you is the main research core. It's a special chamber that is sealed, lined, and monitored to prevent disasters. Let's look around and see if we can figure out how to get it open. Oh, here I am. Wow, this place is huge! Look at how tiny I am. Uh, let's go right to the blue. When you're done looking around there, you can return to the transport platform. It's supposed to be a plant, but it just looks like a tentacle monster is coming up out of this thing. Themba Ivana. Ivana. Ivanovix. Ivanovic? Ivanovic. Their lab. Well, just go to the common lab first, I guess. You've reached the common lab. It was used by all the researchers for various general tasks. Looks like it's in quite a state. Indeed, it's in the great state of disarray. That was a terrible joke, I'm sorry. Nothing here but a body. Body of Abra Dombrowski. Yep, he found another corpse. Belongs to R&D engineer Abra Dombrowski. I would surmise she was trapped in that room for some time. It's difficult to ascertain, but she likely either starved to death or was asphyxiated by a steadily decreasing supply of oxygen. Jesus. Single note still legible near the body. It reads, Goodbye, Themba. Abra Dabromsky's lab. That's a physical edition of The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. It's not an original printing, but it's still quite valuable. My, my. That is a large collection of items. There are stuffed animals, trinkets, porcelain figures, and homemade items. Apparently, Mr. Dombrowski was quite a, well, how would you put it? Collector. Not very diplomatic of you. It is a wonder Mr. Dombrowski even managed to bring this many personal effects with her when she traveled from Earth. 
Indeed. When you're traveling in space, weight and, well, space, as in like room, is pretty damn limited. I think personal effects would be very limited. The ink is faded, but there's something scrawled on that old standard issue office note. Password, fave things. Hmm. What is your favorite thing? There's a shelf of many things. Everything? Favorite thing is everything? Collectibles? Uh-oh. Storage container is completely full of plush toys, old fiscal letters, and children's books. Its contents have spilled out everywhere. You know, it seems to me that someone was digging through that container and tossing things aside. Perhaps they were looking for something. Childlike painting of a carrot inside a fairly ornate frame. Well, it's giving me the option to try to enter it, which means it thinks I may know it. Otherwise, I don't think he would offer it to me. Okay. Okay. Um, let's try a couple things. Collectibles. I hope I spelled... What the... Collectibles. Plushies? I can't spell. Um... Everything? I don't know. I'll come back. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. What did the note say? Mm, well, I can't read the note anymore. The one that said, like, uh, goodbye, someone's name. If I can't read it anymore, that's probably not the password. Plus, it's not a. F she said in the note, favorite. Um, my favorite things, right? Not my favorite thing. Or my favorite person. So, I don't think that's the password. Oh, Themba, yeah. Themba, I have enough thick something. Unlike the shelf in R&D engineer Dombrowski's lab, this one appears very tidy and utila utilitarian. Miss Ivanovic seems to have created her own tracking system and predictive models for waste management, in addition to the routines I controlled. The shelf contains several collections of hard copy notes and projections, as well as contingency plans for alternative methods of waste reduction and redirection. That waste receptacle was used to burn something. Your scan indicates traces of cotton and synthetic fibers, as well as paper. Likely as a type of kindling. You can probably still see bits of whatever was burned in there. I'm picking up round, fluffy curls of something. Fluffy curls of... what? Hair? I mean, once again, I'm thinking of stuffed animals, plushies. This was a research station that director of voice management Themba. Okay, I gotta get this name down. Ivanovic? Ivanovic. Ivanovic. Themba Ivanovic used during her time there. Her terminal is inoperable, but the desk tools very the desk looks very organized. Logs indicate that she had a particularly difficult job, especially once the drones began to malfunction and resources became more constrained. Dare I try it again? What's inside a plushie? Stuffing. Uh... Soft things? Um... Stuffed... Animals? I don't know. Fave things. She has a shelf of many things. What's her favorite things? It's like, I'm thinking it's plushies or something, but I've tried plushies, I've tried stuffed animals, I've tried stuffing. Ah, I don't know. 
I mean, Peter Rabbit, carrot painting, carrots? <laughs> Maybe he just really likes carrots? I don't know. Kid stuff? Uh, colorful things and stuff. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm just going somewhere else. I'll come back to that. Let's go to the yellow labs. Break room. I see you found the research lab's break room. I wouldn't touch any of the food there. There's no telling what it's been exposed to. Actually, I can tell you exactly. Your suit is picking up all sorts of data. Do you want to know? Sure. There are over 400 dangerous substances and trace elements that, uh, you know, on second thought, it's probably best not to worry about it. Okay, thanks. Colonists would relax there during breaks on shifts. It appears someone was using it quite frequently. Yeah, probably using it as beds. Standard food processor. It's quite broken down, no one probably hasn't been active in years. Is it an arcade machine? Some colonists constructed an old-fashioned arcade machine from spare materials. Not since, though, it's been used for parts. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no way they actually brought that with them on the spaceship, so they constructed it. Is that an old pot of coffee? Probably a bit stale at this point. It's look like old cards given to various co-workers in the years prior to the collapse. One says, Happy Birthday, Abra, and features some kind of furry animal. Hmm. Date is January 11th, 2033. January 11th, 2033. That's probably a password. 2033. Okay. Now there is some sort of geometric minimalist design that says, Happy Birthday, Themba. Its date is May 13th. I'll write that one down, too. 2029. Okay. Third looks a little generic, as if less effort was put into it. Happy B Day, Beth. Date on is August 2nd. Write that down too anyway. Can't hurt. 2nd, 2034. I never did understand humans' obsession with printed reading material. That rack has many hot printed magazines and periodicals. Some crafty colonists snuck news data through the Earth transmissions and then used a printing device to create physical copies. I imagine for some time it was heartening to read stories from Earth, but the transmissions would have been 23 years old. Even with hyperspace travel reducing transmission delivery time by 75%, that is a large gap, and that information wouldn't be at all useful. What do you think about this? sad. Humans do have a tendency to take actions that cause them grief, which seems counterintuitive. Well, I didn't quite mean it that way. I just mean it's sad that it's so out of date. But, okay. Best Jacobson's Lab. Ooh, sciency. Please insert boot disk to continue. <laughs> the pile of faded handwritten notes is very difficult to make out. However, I believe that the sentiment within indicates frustration. The only complete segment I can reconstruct says, They're not helping. This isn't going to work. I don't want to die here. Jacobson's research spilled onto that table as well. It's covered with notes and... Oh, what's this? There's a somewhat blurry printed photograph among the papers. It looks to be of R&D engineer Bin Nugan. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm not sure. In it, he's smiling at his desk. Sample containers. 
Containers are designed to slowly mix multiple elements in a controlled environment. The notes beside each all indicate that none of the various experiments were successful. Oh, that must have been what you meant about they're not working. Whatever these experiments were, they're not working. And apparently, whatever they were, could possibly be the key to saving her? She said they're not working, I don't want to die here. Let's go to green. Maurice Brennan's lab. Look at that. Holograms. Likely some kind of research projection. The datapad was left to process small-scale energy simulations, but a software error stalled its progress. There's just a bit of battery left. There's an audio log recorded by Mr. Brennan. I'll transcribe it for you. Prioritization of the new energy source Lumumba and I are working on is proving difficult. However, thanks to the hologram simulations here, I've come to a conclusion. 1. Because of time constraints, energy efficiency is the most important factor. We need to keep power as long as possible. 2. The next most important factor is compatibility. We need to be able to use this with existing systems. 3. Sadly, given the circumstances, safety is the last priority. That's the end of the log. There's an error message. It reads, please complete simulation sequence to continue. Looks like we'll need to complete whatever the simulation sequence is. Hope you can try the hologram machines in that room. Table's currently projecting a power simulation. Do you want to change it? Uh, sure. So, what am I setting these to? Am I supposed to set these to the, like, the priorities? Energy efficiency simulation. Oh, it even tells me what it currently is. Materials degradation simulation. Compatibility simulation. Oh, yeah, okay, so I need to set this to what the priorities are. Uh, so one... Energy efficiency, and then... So energy efficiency, compatibility, and then safety. That's gotta be energy efficiency. That's compatibility, right? Yep. So this one's safety. think that'll do it. Safety simulation, yep. Unless it's supposed to be in reverse order. Oh. Yeah, I think maybe I got it backwards. Okay, let's switch them around. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. This is an energy efficiency. Because one of the other ones, is, is it this one? Energy efficiency simulation. Yeah, that's the energy efficiency one, never mind. This probably is in the right order. There we go. I think you've done it. Mm -hmm. That puzzle made no sense at all, but okay. I don't know why I had to do that to use a computer. I mean, why? Why would you set holograms in the right order? Just to be able to complete a simulation. What? Anyway. Uh, looks like their work was really showing progress. You seem to have found ways to speed up Mr. Lumumba's efforts. Normally with the production of energy from the mined crystals, there is a certain amount of untapped energy because of inefficiencies in the workflow and whatnot. The simulations uh, show that Mr. Brennan was able to minimize these inefficiencies, though the risks for doing so were beyond safety protocols. This should mean a more concentrated, longer-lasting energy source, perfect for the escape ship. But where is the result of that research? For now, I've sent a security request from Mr. Brennan's account to provide his access to the core. Hmm. 
We've secured the research data for improving the efficiency of the new energy source that will help the escape ship operate longer. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, so it, yeah, it lit up one thing out of four, so I guess I need to do kind of a thing in each place to be able to unlock the core. Sleeping quarters. That's the on-site sleeping quarters for the researchers. Portable data pad has a significant collection of personal media for Director of Waste Management Themba Ivanovic. Music, photos, notes, oh, and a series of logs. Here's an entry that might be of some interest. What makes this all even worse is that I could die in here, surrounded by idiots. Lumumba's mad quest to speed up energy development will kill us all. He is determined, but his increasing time demands makes things dangerous. That idiot Dombrowski is increasingly useless, distracted by her stuffed friends. I gave her a little incentive to refocus. Oh, shit. Remember how we found in um, Dombrowski's place, we found that it looked like someone had like searched through a bunch of the bins looking for something, and then we found uh, what looked like a burned figurine or, you know, stuffed animal? This person actually just like stole her I guess favorite stuffed animal and burned it how petty and just shitty so another entry here you should see Lamumba's work is hopeless uh, Nugan and the rest are fools for sticking around this long by the way I have no idea how to pronounce the name Nugan like I've seen it before I've seen it quite a few times but I don't actually know how to pronounce it you you in? Uh, whatever. I know we'll never get the help we need. We're right off now. I'm getting out of here. Those remains you scanned on the surface must have been those of Miss Ivanovix. She unfortunately never found any kind of safety or escape. Ah. Whoever last used that bed did not make it when they left. <laughs> yes, thank you for the analysis. How insightful. Dozens of photos and pictures of cute animals inside that locker. Looks like Abra Dombrowski's locker. Also a photo of Miss Dombrowski smiling with her arm around Themba Ivanovic, who looks somewhat annoyed. Underneath the photo is a printed label with some markings I don't understand. <laughs> Heart, heart, heart. Aw. And to her dying note, she did say goodbye. To her. Oh, that's a data card. We can use that. It's a red label that reads B. You can, you can use it in certain terminals to read its contents. Yep. Okay. It's good to see that I'm making some progress without knowing the password to that one person's terminal. Go on and over. Uh, have we been here before? No. So this is the last. Yeah, this is the last new place. Those notes are highly complex predictive models for the stability of energy in various forms. Amazing that they are all handwritten. There's a small printed photograph stuck on one of the paper sheets, though it's been torn in two. Looks like a photo of a woman with dark shoulder-length hair. She's wearing a lab coat. Her face is unfortunately cut off. Typical contains heaps of dusty notebooks. Mr. Nugan must have been frantically working in there. The faded handwriting on one note reads, Now that she's gone, how will I find the strength to help Lumumba? Are we truly doomed? It also says, I'm the only one who remembers her birthday, so I know no one else will get access. Ah, so it is indeed a birthday. That's the password to the computer. Okay. Hmm. 
System boot disk for a terminal. Okay, the letter B is written on the label and marker. Oh, so I've got two things. I've got a data disk and also the boot disk. Is this a video player? Apparently I have several external backup drives. They're all connected to an emergency power unit, which is now inoperable. With core system down and without my help to run routines, this lab probably had to rely on whatever was available. Stuff in the data card in there. So it's a text log. Uh, she said goodbye today. I wasn't sure what she meant. I know everyone blamed her for what happened, but it wasn't her fault. I was the one who pushed her to do more work, to do more than she was capable of. I thought she could handle it, but I was wrong. Even now, they curse her name as if she was responsible for the whole colony failing. But her mistake was mine, too. Are they talking about Themba? Hint her birthday. Month, day, year. Well, I've got some dates, but those aren't... I mean, I need to know how old they are, right? Because the dates are... What year is it now? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I just enter them. Oh, there we go. So the one that worked was August 2nd, 2034. Excellent. Mr. Nugent's files contains a lot of data. He truly was an exceptional engineer. It looks like he was focused on retrofitting colony power systems. To deal with Mr. Lumumba's increasing demands, Mr. Nugent had to construct some ingenious workarounds so the new energy source could be used. He really was at the forefront of what he was doing. It's too bad this tragedy had to be the impetus, uh, impetus for all this innovation. I've initiated a security request now to the core. Alright, so that's two of four, right? Got the research data on how to tune the ship to best use the new energy source that should help us retrofit the escape ship. Let's see what else we can find. So I've done that and that. Um, okay, so the only two things I can think of left to do are access that one woman's terminal, using the password that I'm not quite sure what it is, and the other thing is use the boot disk on one of the computers. I don't remember which computer to use it in. So I guess I'll just try them all. Well, it's definitely not this one. Oh, there's even a computer system in here. Alright, it's gotta be in yellow. Yeah, here we go. Great. I've accessed Miss Jacobson's research data. I'm afraid the news isn't good. She didn't make much progress, it seems. In fact, what I'm seeing here is a series of failed experiments and reports. But we can use this as a reference so we don't make the same mistakes. It's too bad that Miss Jacobson didn't feel she was contributing to the research. In her way, we could owe our own survival to her. There's a note here that just popped up. Uh, Ben, I'm so sorry for everything. I let you down. I let everybody down. I love you. Found the research data on all the failed formulae. Will help us avoid mistakes. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I've just got to get that password, huh? Let me see if I can figure it out. The answer is rabbits, isn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. Not carrots, rabbits. I was close. Okay, this research she was doing for Mr. Lomomba on energy transportation. Seems one of the major issues the team was having was with storing energy in smaller containers without increasing volatility. It's curious. That was never really a priority for the colony. I wonder just what exactly this new research was really for. And in any case, I've sent the security quest. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we should have access. This place is a real mess, but it looks like there's an energy source there. And are those more bodies? Well, one's John Lumumba, but what's the other body? Ah, Bin. It's on the body of R&D engineer Bin Nugan. It appears to have collapsed there. The position suggests he was clutching his chest. Because of the strange particulates in the air in this room, his body is fairly well preserved. I doubt that's a comfort. In his hands is the other half of that torn photo you found in his lab. The woman's face is visible in this half. It appears to be Beth Jacobson. I forgot to inform you, Nella, that you have scanned the body of resource manager Jean Lumumba. The position of the body suggests that he was thrown back by some kind of force. His spinal column is damaged, and a blow to the head is likely what killed him. Your scan also picked up the contents of a data recorder in Mr. Lumumba's pocket. It's a log. I'll transcribe it. Mugen. He's been dead for hours. Sonic vibrations and emissions from the sequencer probably exploded his heart. Not long now. Pierre, you damn fool. We're both so very wrong. But if we're still out there... What we've made here... It should carry you a long way. I know you didn't give up, despite everything. I hope you find this. There's a suddenly loud sound, and the recording stops there. I understand if you need a moment before we move on. It seems Mr. Lumumba did his best after all, but we met with a tragic end. Achievement unlocked, it's complicated. Guess we take the energy source. This must be the new energy source that the team was developing in these labs. By the looks of it, it's still stable. All the machinery in there must have been reconfigured to produce this single fuel cell. An incredible last-ditch effort. It is regrettable that Mr. Lumumbo was not more forthcoming with the other colonists. Some of them likened him to a villain. However, he appeared to succeed in his task, even though most people did not know or understand his motivations. Well, that fuel cell will power the escape ship for a considerable amount of time, improving our chances of survival. All right, well, we've got um, the stress signal stuff figured out and we have a power source. I'd say we're well on our way. At least some good finally came of these energy production facilities, even though it took all this for it to happen. Well, I... it's good that you made it back, at least. I think the AI is running out of things to say when I return. Like, yeah, everything sucks, just, uh, you know, do your best. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna sync our data with AI Core again, and then go speak with Jean Lumumba.